There have been plenty of social media claims about COVID-19. Some have been truthful, many have not. A new post has started popping up and one of you asked us to check it out. Zach Merchant is live now in downtown Macon to verify. Lori, this latest post making the rounds on social media claims that Georgia's COVID-19 case count is supposedly overinflated because again, supposedly, of the way Georgia's Department of Public Health is tracking this data. Now, of course, we wanted to verify this, so we went right to the source. We talked to Michael Hawkinson, the spokesperson for the DPH's Central Georgia office. This is what we learned. The Post really makes two connected claims. It says anybody who tests positive for COVID-19 must continue to be tested every week until they get two negative results. And if a person gets more than one positive test result over that period, the Post claims each of those positive results will be counted by the state as a new case. If true, that would lead to an inflated statewide case count. But the Georgia Department of Public Health says it's not. North Central Health District spokesperson Michael Hawkinson says the DPH does not require individuals who test positive to keep getting tests until they get two negative results. That is not a DPH rule at all. And even if somebody does test positive and gets subsequent tests that also come back positive, that person will still be counted as only one case. The individual can get tested multiple times and get a bunch of positive tests while they're infectious but they will only be counted in the confirmed cases once. So we can confirm this post is false. And Hawkinson reiterated that that case curve on the Georgia Department of Public Health's website reflects confirmed cases. In other words, people who have gotten sick with this thing, not positive test results. Live in Macon, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News.